another snow day in Canada. Mommy. And as usual, okay, so I drove, we did not do video of my of me when I was driving. And as usual, we have the the black man, the cook man on the steering. Yeah, baby. So go and do what? So go and visit Tabby. Mean. So go and visit somebody. Maybe we have somebody to visit, we'll go. He likes to be going out. You don't like to go to crash. Okay. I'm just going to reason for to come out to Take the Preston Avenue exit, then keep right at the fork. Mm. Oh, bad at all, I'm looking at the laptop. Oh, laptop, I'm going to need adapter to take. See, you get it. So, Tuffy regulates, you know. Tuffy regulates, you know. So, can you hear? Guys, keep right at the fork. Don't pack plenty. Well, well, for us, we didn't bring any. Um, um, electrical appliances. Any? We didn't bring any. Clip out. Straight now. What else? We didn't bring any um, electrical appliance. And um, my husband just got to know the reason they told us not to bring. It is because the electricity here, yeah, the rating, rating, will not carry the the equipment. Like it will not be enough to power on the equipment. So don't bother. The things here are not so so expensive. You can get ones I can use. We've gotten our clippers, we've gotten I've gotten my straightener and I think so far we are good. Meters, turn left so don't bother bringing Avenue. plenty. Don't bother bringing electrical appliances. You get the ones you eat in, right? So we went out, we went to do small shopping, we bought some fruits. I think I showed you already the fruit we bought. Bought some fruits. We went to see a friend that just landed. My husband's friend that I met on WhatsApp. And that's one of the things, you know. Ah, he said he met him on Telegram. <laughs> that's one of the things we keep saying about this, you know, connect, connect, connect. When it comes to Canada and um, relocating, you cannot afford to be the only the person in the group that will not talk. That will be doing, um, what's it called? It's only me that is in this group. I'll be something. You cannot afford to keep quiet even in a, in a group. And even if you want to, um, you want to say only you, only you. Try as, as much as you can to chat up people, like, personally. In case you're like me, in case you're like me, I used to be that person. I'm no longer that person. That don't talk in the group. I'd rather go and ask somebody. Mommy. Yeah, baby. Don't worry, that you're not the mommy. That, that used to be a B? Yes. Hmm. Glory, 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 glory. <laughs> So I'd rather go, just go and chat the person privately and say, okay, so this is what I need to help me with it or something. But now, I don't mind. I don't mind. I'll talk in the group. You cannot beat me. If what I say does not go well with you, you cannot beat me. The maximum is we abuse me. And abuse will not stick to my forehead. But anyone that has information I have will give me the information. Okay? So, learn to speak up in groups. Yes. Okay. It's actually better when I clean it. So try as much as you can to speak up in groups. Don't just join groups and be taking in information without socialize. Socialize. So this person now, you met him on Telegram. And small, small, we are making friends in Canada. That's how friends are made. <laughs> That's how friends are made. The friends do not come from heaven. <laughs> so guys, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's our car for today. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs> this guy likes to put on his hood. Yeah. Say hi guys. Hi guys. Say bye.